Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take a little break from doing hair and I'm going to tell you guys a story. This is actually my first time doing a story time. And this is actually my first time also just sitting here and talking to a camera, which is kind of a little weird. I feel like I'm just talking to myself. But anyway, so So this story is about when I almost got jumped in middle school. Well, not really jumped, I almost got my ass beat. And I've never really told anybody this story before because it's kind of embarrassing. Because I basically look like a little bitch in this, in this story, so yeah. Anyway, so it started, so it was in Spanish class, I think it was like third or fifth third or fourth period so we was and I'm telling you that class was like the worst class in the whole school like our Spanish class was so bad that sometimes the principal would like sit in the class with us and eat lunch it was that bad the, the teacher like after like the fourth week, week of like after a month after a month of school he like gave up he just gave up on us, he stopped teaching, he stopped trying, he just stopped trying. And I feel like they just took all the bad kids and just put them in all in one room because that class was horrible. Anyway, so it was one of those days when, it was one of those days was misbehaving and we was playing this game because when we entered the class, Mr. Rodriguez, he was just sitting, he was just sitting at his desk and like, 20 minutes past and he won't teach so we thought we should play a game so the game was the game was um the silence game because we i don't know i don't know why we chose that game i it was me who chose the game i said oh let's play the silence game everyone's like no nah, 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 that's mad boring so i was like obviously there's a twist to the game like we're not just gonna sit here in silence so anybody who talk, so I said anybody, we're gonna play the silence game. Everybody's gonna sit in their seats and be quiet. And anybody who makes any noise, you cannot talk, you cannot sneeze, you cannot cough, you cannot laugh. You can, don't move, just sit there. And anybody who who breaks the rules, the whole class have to give you at least one slap. So everybody agreed. It was like I don't know for some reason it was like it sounded fun. So we started the game. We all just sat there. Mr. Rodriguez was at his table. He was grading other classes. Tests that they took. I have no idea. But, yeah. So, we were just sitting there. And then, there was a couple of kids who talked. Who made noises. And, obviously, everybody got up. And we all slapped the, the person. So, it, it came to this one individual. So, he, was, he sat, like, all the way in the back. And... Okay, so it's like the seats. Let me see. So it's like, I don't know, y'all can see. Nope, y'all cannot see that. Okay, y'all, you can see that. Let me see. Let me see. Let's say these are the seats. This is, this is like the classroom, okay? I'm going to try to show you. And I'm sitting over here. And the kid is all the way back here. Okay. Yeah, is a boy. So we started the we started over again, and then after we just beat up one of one kid, we started again. So we're playing, and then he laughed. So everybody was like getting up and going to go slap him, but I was too slow because he was all the way in the back, and I was all the way in the front. So I was too slow, and everybody got there before me, and I was the last one. So I never, I didn't get the chance to get my slap in. So I took off my shoe and I threw it at him. But when I threw it, everybody got out of the way and it hit him really hard, like on the head. I, was, I don't know, I, it hit him really hard on the head. And I'm telling you, this kid got so angry. Like 
I, I understood why he got angry because the way I threw the shoe, it hurt. Like, it was really hard because I was all the way in the back. So I thought by the time, I didn't even think the shoe was going to hit him. I thought by the time the shoe got to him, it would slow down and it would just tap him on the shoulder or something. But that wasn't the case. I threw it and it hit him in his head, like bang on the, like the wall. So, he got mad. And when he got when he get, when he got mad, I got scared because I knew who he was. Him 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 and his sister they're like I don't know they were they weren't like bullies but like they were like he was I'm totally like he was big like big muscular for like a sixth grader he was big for his age. So and he had like this reputation that he liked to he loved to fight and he has anger problems. And when he's angry, he throws stuff, like he hurt people, him and his sister. Like his sister is like also just as big as him. And when he gets mad, nobody could calm him down except his sister. Even the principals can't calm him down, but his sister. So when I realized that this nigga was angry, like he was mad, like I'm telling you, like, he was, he was black, but I swear to God, I thought he turned red. But... He got mad and I was like, I was so scared. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to throw the shoe, I'm really sorry. Like I started apologizing, but like it's like, it was going in one ear and out the other cause he was not hearing me. He was trying to come to like, he, he was just sitting at his table, like, like just breathing hard and hard. And I feel like every time he, he inhaled the air, he gets more angrier. So I started, I, I got so scared, and then Mr. Rodriguez saw that he was he was getting angry. I'm saying like everybody knew him in the school, like he was like, he loves to, he don't like to fight, but he has anger problems. And you know people who have anger problems, they do stupid shit. So I was scared for my life. So he got up, and then Mr. Rodriguez saw him get up. And then he got up and he tried to stop the kid and I tried to hide behind Mr. Rodriguez. And then Mr. Rodriguez was like telling him, oh, calm down, sit down, sit down. And then the kid was like, move. Like he started yelling at Mr. Rodriguez. And then I saw that, and I'm telling you, I have two best friends in that class. Nobody helped me. Nobody tried to calm, stop him. Nobody tried to calm him down, nothing. And I understood because Nobody was a match for that for that nigga. If you start a beef with him, like I feel like you're oh you're done. Like he he's just so that's why like the whole school year I made it my like my plan to be his friend because I did not want to be on his bad side. And that's how everybody in the class felt, not to be on his bad side. So if anybody tried to help me, I they thought that he might see them as the enemy and try to attack them also. So everybody was scared and I didn't, I don't know, like my heart was in my ass, I'm telling you. So he got up and then he was trying to like get past Mr. Rodriguez. Now I'm telling you, Mr. Rodriguez is like how I, Mr. Rodriguez is like me, like a little, but a little bit skinnier. And he was not like tall and he did, he, he didn't really speak like a, he didn't really speak good English. So when the kids started getting mad, like he started yelling at Mr. Rodriguez, and then Mr. Rodriguez trying to calm him down. And then I realized that Mr. Mr. Rodriguez is like he would probably give up like after like another two, two or three strings from the kid. So I opened the door and then I ran outside. And then he's following me and I'm still there, he's like he's yelling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm and I was like, No, 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 stop, I'm sorry, don't I didn't mean it, like I didn't really mean it. Like I'm so sorry, I did not want to hit you. And then he's like, I'm gonna kill you. Like I can't believe you did that. I'm gonna hurt you, you uh, I'm gonna hurt you. And he's like angry. So I'm like running like around in the hallways. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I don't want you to hurt me. I'm sorry, no, stop. And I was so scared. And then I we like I'm running I'm running like around and then Mr. Rodriguez is standing at the door and then you know how in the scary movies how the the person who's about to die is running 
but like the killer is walking i swear that's how he was walking behind me and i was like speed running and he was just there like walking but i felt like he was right behind me but i was running and he was walking so i was so scared and then i seen his sister walking up the stairs and then i ran to his sister and then and she was like what's wrong what's wrong and I was like, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. Like, you have to put him under control. He's trying to kill me. And then she seen her brother, and he was, like, crying. And he was, like, angry. And he was, like, walking. And his fist was all, well, he, like, balled up his fist and whatnot. So he was, like, walking towards me. And then she stopped. And she was like, what's wrong? Like, she seen him cry. She seen that he was crying. And she, I guess, she started getting angry that he was crying. And she's like, what did you do to him? And, I'm, and then he's, she's trying to ask him, what happened? What happened? So he told her what happened. Like I threw a shoe at his head. And she got angry. She got so angry. I feel like she was more angry than he was. And then she started, like, she was coming towards me. So I ran towards the stairs. And then I felt like I ran towards the stairs. And as I was running down the stairs, she grabbed, like, the back of my shirt and then she pulled me and I fell on the stairs and then I was just holding on to like I was holding on to like the railing so she was like a stair like a st two stairs on top of me and I was at the bottom of like I was like at the fourth stair the fourth one so I was holding on to like the railing of the stair stairs like really hard like I was squeezing the damn stairs I was squeezing it so hard and I'm my face is just, I was just, I was like, oh, balled up. And then she's over me like, what, what the fuck did you do? I'ma beat your ass. And I started crying. And then like the whole class, like everybody was like outside. And I'm like, how is it that no, like other classes are not hearing this? And why are there no other teachers trying to help me? So she's standing over me, and then he's behind her, and then they're both yelling at me, and she's over, and she's like yelling on top of me, I swear like she was spitting on me, like I'm gonna beat your ass, like you should have never touched my brother, blah, 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 blah. and then he's standing there like all mad and shit, like, <laughs> like a freaking gorilla. So I'm just holding on to like that railing, like I'm so scared, like I started crying. And I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like I didn't mean to. And then Mr. Rodriguez was on top of like the stairs also, like saying, guys, stop it, stop it, stop. Nobody was listening. And this girl almost, she like lifted up her hand and she was about to slap me. And then the principal came. The principal came in and he was like, what's going on? And then everybody ran like back in the classroom. And that's how I was saying. Everybody ran back in the classroom. Mr. Rodriguez explained like the situation to like the principal, and then the principal was like, "Oh, you guys you should just drop it, this and that." The principal took the kid to his office, and the, the kid and his sister to the, to his office because I'm telling you, these kids, they them two, they have like a reputation of like getting angry and just doing crazy stuff. So I thought. I'm so happy like they did not demolish my face or nothing. Yeah. So I ran back, I went back in the classroom, like I was shaking, like my hands was like shaking so much, like I couldn't even sit in my seat. And then I went I went back in the classroom and everybody was like, Are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm okay. I was like, You ain't touch me, but I'm fine. And then my friends were like, We try to help her. I was like, I understand. I understand. I, I understood that you guys couldn't do anything because if that was you guys, I would not do anything either. So everybody was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. This and that. Da, 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 da. So we all just sat down and I guess we listened to Mr. Rodriguez teach for the first time. So after that, like, after that, like two days later, he came back in the we came back to class because because like the next day he didn't come to class I guess because Mr. Cole I need to stop saying things the t the principal I guess the principal sent him home and told him to like relax and come back after like the, the day after so like the next day he didn't come to school and I was so relieved like I thought he was gonna come and get me after but no that was not the case. 
So like the like two days later he came back to class and he was like all oh, happy and then he came up to me, he came up to my desk and he was like, I'm sorry, like I was just angry, like I didn't I wasn't really gonna hit you, I was just mad. And yeah, so we squashed it and we became friends and I never picked up a like every time we're playing a game in that class, everybody stayed away from him. Even though he tried to play. But like we play with them, but we just never include them. Let's say we're playing like any type of game where you have to hurt the other person. We will let him pass. Like we will let him get away with breaking the rules or whatever. Or if we have to like hit him to to include him, we're just like everybody's like tap him, you know. But I never, I never went back there again. So yeah, that was. My little story time, that was the time I almost died in middle school, sixth grade. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because I feel like I was a little bitch. But anyways, leave a comment below if you guys want another story. Because I have a lot of stories, but I just cannot say it. Say too many, too many of them because I'm still friends with most of the people that are in my stories. So I can't really put their business out there either, so I'm gonna be a little cautious about what stories I tell. So yeah, bye, thanks for watching.